Hey, hey everyone, Dayton here with Rodriguez Cleaning Services. Today, uh, we're gonna be cleaning some uh, rugs. I'm gonna be working with uh, Marquis, and I'm gonna be training him. He has never done some uh, rug cleaning in the shop. It's a little messy back here, it's doing uh, some back there, but uh, what I'm gonna be doing is cleaning rugs uh, back there and I'm gonna show you the whole process like I'm uh, training you and training him and I hope you enjoy the video stay tuned what uh, Mark is going to be doing right now on this rug is the in-house service that we couldn't do at the uh, the client's house because we had the snow on a few issues. We brought the rug back in here and we're gonna do use the one to clean the, the top, the bottom and the top. Usually in-house we don't clean uh, both. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray the back, clean the back, flip it, spray the front and then steam clean the front. With the wool rug, we're gonna lower the pressure and then with the synthetic rug, we're going to CRV the front because it's very soiled and then we're gonna steam clean it. Stay tuned for that video. We just finished, Marky is up, here. How you doing? Uh, we finished cleaning those back there. We did the surface cleaning. Now I have to come back and groom it. And then we're gonna work on those Moreno rugs. We're gonna dust it off uh, with the duster back there. I'm gonna show Marky how to do that. And then we're gonna come back in here and clean them. Stay tuned for uh, those coming up. If you see, this is soft, and it hits the backs of the rugs, and you won't uh, damage them. Let me help you out.
what I'm about to do now is called a bleeding test. I got a clean uh, towel, white. I'm going to uh, dip it into the product that I'm going to use to clean the uh, rugs. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to press down uh, on the rugs to see if it uh, bleeds. Press down to see how much color I uh, get from the rug. Let's see. It seems like it's a little, it, it bleeds a little bit that red, you can see there. That means that I have to either change the product or be a little extra careful. Since that rug that we have there is a, it's a bleeder, I have to, uh, to do a bleeding treatment to make sure that the, uh, the collars don't run.
Oh, yeah. Got a lot of Kelly keeps squeeing and getting more of the bleeding out. She's just having some fun. Is that addictive? Yeah, it really is. It's really satisfying. I'm just tired of doing it now. I've done it like four or five times already. Trying to get some of that bleeding out. It's a pretty rough. Yeah, it's a nice rough. Okay, this is how it looks after the uh, cleaning. If you can see the colors look brighter. The rug's still uh, wet, which means it's a little dark. It will light up. But uh, in my opinion, it looks really good. We don't have uh, a lot of crazy uh, bleeding. You can still see some of the white everywhere. Uh, and then over here, if you can see, this one bleeds a lot. The red is still there, and it didn't run over the... The red is still there, and it didn't run over the blue. Actually, look how bright that uh, blue turned out. And then we got something here that I couldn't see when uh, we got the rug. And this, ha this happens very often. Can you see that there? that's like a, a built up like cement it's a like a burn who knows what that is but it's really hard like a rug the only way of fixing that is cutting those uh fibers out but i have to get permission from the client to do it but look at that uh purple uh pink how nice it is and if you see we have no colors running no bleeding after the, the cleaning.